Welcome to Coffee with Carrie. I'm glad you could be here for a conversation about dating app profile pictures. Give me more pics. Don't give me any more pics. Let's sort out this craziness because they're both absolutely true in different scenarios. And that's what I wanted to share with you today in this quick tip. If you're new, I'm Carrie. I'm a matchmaker and a dating coach, and I'm glad you could be here. That's what we're chatting about today. These profile pics and when you want more and when you want none more, no more. If that's at all intriguing, stick around. That's what's on the agenda for today's quick tip. It's only fair that you get to see a bunch of photographs and figure out who this person is and what this person looks like. If they have two pictures up and if you're not working with me and I'm not telling you what pictures to put up and editing your photos and telling you what your mother needs to take pictures of you doing and your or your kids or your best friend, then you may not have all the pictures you need either. But if you're going to meet this person, you're going to get yourself dressed up in your nicest shirt or whatever and travel across town to meet somebody you want to know a little bit about what they are gonna present as well when they show up. So one picture of somebody in sunglasses or from here up or blurry pictures or one of 20 in a crowd is not gonna cut it. Make sure this person sends you more photographs if you need them to figure out who you're meeting on this date. Now, on the flip side of that, once you've made plans, this is my suggestion. It's what I've seen and experienced personally over many years. My suggestion for you is that once you've made plans, the date is on the books, you know that next Thursday you're meeting this person at, you know, Vinici's for a glass of red wine and an appetizer. Stop corresponding with them in the interim. You wait until the date to talk more and you do not let them or ask them for more pictures in the interim until you meet once you make the plans. So you've got the plans on the book and then zero contact until like right before the date to confirm that you're still on. You don't wanna do what happened to me once where I drove all the way to the city and the person flaked after I drove the hour. Fortunately, my daughter lived nearby. I just showed up and hung out with her. She was nice enough to host me at her apartment. And that was just kind of weird. It's like I talked to somebody. He said, I'll meet you inside. An hour later, I'm there and nobody's answering my messages that they're there. Eh, whatever. I had a lovely evening. Ghosting is rude. Try to avoid it if you can. Definitely don't do that to people. It's just not nice. And wait until you meet to see this person in person before accepting any more photographs. And I'll tell you why. Because it's only fair. I have found that once you've made the decision that you're intrigued and you want to go meet this person, things in the middle can mess it up for you. You could have a great impression, but somebody gets excited to meet you or over anxious and they overshare or they say something silly trying to, I don't know, move things along or another picture shows up and it doesn't jive with like what you'd seen previously and you start second guessing whether this is gonna be somebody you're attracted to. There's a lot of reasons that come up in the middle where another photograph can mess things up or it could be something you just don't wanna see at all. Maybe never, but at least until you, this is a person you know very well. So I'm not just talking about those pictures, I'm talking about all pictures. Get as many as you can at the start. Do not accept or send any in the interim between planning the date and meeting your person here. And if you take that advice, that'll work to your advantage, I'm pretty sure. Let me know if you understand this, you've experienced this, or you think it'll be helpful to you in the future. Please subscribe to the channel, hit that ring bell, lets you know when new episodes go live, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, have a good one.